Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, paid a visit to the general headquarters of the BDF. Upon arrival, His Majesty was welcomed by the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi. His Majesty King Hamad was accompanied by National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty was briefed about the BDF's development plans and His Majesty the King expressed pride in the BDF and its brave personnel, stressing that BDF affiliates enjoy his great appreciation and are always a source of pride for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty extended thanks to all BDF personnel for their patriotic efforts of safeguarding the gains and achievements of Bahrain and its people, as well as for their constant vigilance and readiness to carry out their duties in light of the rapidly unfolding developments in the region. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain always hopes that security and peace prevail in the region and the entire world. He wished all BDF servicemen continuous success in carrying out their noble duties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received Pakistan's ambassador to Bahrain, Afdal Mahmoud. The ambassador conveyed to His Majesty a message from Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, including an invitation to His Majesty to visit Pakistan. He also highlighted the distinguished historical relations between both countries and means of enhancing them, in addition to developing various areas of joint interest. His Majesty praised the progress witnessed in the bilateral cooperation in all fields, affirming that the Bahraini-Pakistani relations are well established based on firm foundations of mutual interest, respect and understanding. His Majesty the King also expressed his appreciation for the efforts of the President of Pakistan, Araf Alawi, and Prime Minister and their roles in supporting cooperation and framework in strengthening close ties with the Kingdom. His Majesty praised the pivotal role of Pakistan in defending Arab and Islamic issues and its positive contributions to society, security and regional and global peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the General Headquarters the Chief of the Air Staff of Pakistan Air Force, Air Marshal Mujahid Anwar Khan, who conveyed to him the greetings of Pakistan President Araf Alawi and Prime Minister Imran Khan, as well as their best wishes of more growth and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty asked him to convey his greetings to the Pakistani President and Premier, as well as his best wishes of more development and prosperity to Pakistan and its people. He stressed Bahrain's appreciation of strong and growing relations of friendship and cooperation between both countries, mainly in the defense and milita military fields. His Majesty hailed the advanced level of cooperation between both countries, voicing the Kingdom's keenness on boosting it for the best interests of the two brotherly countries. He affirmed that such visits reflect mutual keenness to bolster bilateral cooperation to serve common goals and aspirations. His Majesty praised the results of the official visit paid by the Pakistani Premier to Bahrain last month, which further consolidated bilateral partnership. The Pakistani Chief of the Air Staff praised the key role of His Majesty the King in boosting relations between both countries, stressing constant keenness to promote bilateral cooperation to serve common interests and aspirations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in Oman to extend his condolences to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said at Al Alam Palace following the passing of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos Al Said. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also extended condolences to senior members of the Sultanate's royal family, noting that his thoughts and prayers are with them at this time. 
His Royal Highness wished Oman further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Haytham. His Royal Highness recalled His Majesty the late Sultan's key role in bolstering Arab and Islamic cooperation and highlighted his active role for Oman, support for Oman's comprehensive developments. His Majesty Sultan Haytham expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the accompanying delegation for their heartfelt condolences and sincere sympathy. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived earlier in Oman to extend his condolences to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said, following the passing of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos Al Said. His Highness Sayyid Fatik bin Fahr Said and Ambassador of Bahrain to Oman, Dr. Jum'an bin Ahmed Al Kabi, welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince upon arrival to Masqat. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials accompanied His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at the Palace and Secretary General Yasser al Nasser made the following statements. The cabinet praised the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in Germany to be reassured on his health. The Cabinet wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. The Cabinet then welcomed the laying of the foundation stone of the new Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which affirms the importance of attracting international exhibitions and enhancing the tourism and investment movements in the Kingdom on the global level. On the occasion of celebrating the diplomatic day that His Majesty the King allocated the 14th of January to celebrate this occasion, the Cabinet praised the diplomatic march of the Kingdom and hailed the more than 50 years of achievements of the diplomatic corps and its role in serving the Kingdom both regionally and internationally. The Cabinet then expressed condolences on the passing of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said and recalled his achievements, his stances towards the GCC countries, his efforts in serving the Arab and Islamic nations, and his role in achieving progress and prosperity for Oman and his people. The Cabinet wished His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq al Said success in leading the country towards further progress and prosperity. The Cabinet then welcomed the ceasefire in Libya as this would create opportunities to reduce all manifestations of escalation and reach arrangements to preserve the security and stability of Libya. Based on the recommendation of the Coordinating Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved four draft resolutions regarding the periodical checkups of workers in the food and public health sectors to be applied in August 2020. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution allowing the owner of any industrial project to establish a residential building to accommodate workers in the land designated for the project in accordance with the conditions and criteria set by the decision approved by the Cabinet to amend some provisions of the Establishment and Organization of Industrial Areas Law. The meeting approved two draft resolutions on managing means of cooling systems, refrigeration units and air conditioning units and the, on defining the license fee categories for them. The meeting also approved two draft resolutions on the disbursement of financial penalties imposed on workers and on setting the rules and procedures to be followed for each level of group negotiation. The Cabinet approved four MOUs between Bahrain and 
Seychelles on the exemptions from visa requirements for holders of diplomatic and private passports, cooperation in the field of tourism and media, as well as in agriculture, aquaculture and fisheries. The session approved amending the provisions of the executive regulations of the municipalities law. The cabinet also approved Bahrain's participation in the World Health Organization's initiative regarding the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The cabinet discussed the controls and procedures for reconciliation and crimes that occur in violation of the commercial registration law. In the ministerial reports item, the cabinet reviewed a report by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs on completing the transfer of IT systems and the ministry to the Amazon cloud computing environment to achieve the directives of the Higher Committee for Information and Communications Technology headed by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for ministries and government agencies to transfer to cloud computing through cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority. The National Guard Commander Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa Rasid, Pakistan Air Force's Chief of Staff, Air Chief Marshal Mujahid Anwar Khan. The National Guard Staff Director, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, and Pakistan's Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdul Mahmoud, were present. They discussed a number of issues of common concern and reviewed many aspects of cooperation between the two sides. National Guard Commander praised the distinguished relations between Bahrain and Pakistan and the development it has reached in all fields, especially in the military sector, which aims to enhance efficiency and readiness on both sides. Khan affirmed that the cooperation between the Pakistani Army and the National Guard has reached advanced stages, confirming the aspiration of the Pakistani Army to enhance this cooperation, as it would be in the interest of the two countries. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani as well as Bahrain's ambassadors abroad on the sidelines of the Forum of the Ambassadors of the Kingdom of Bahrain organized by Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to the ambassadors participating to the forum's sessions for their efforts in serving the kingdom and raising its international status. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and with the support of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, represents a leading model in foreign policies that are based on respect, positive cooperation, and non interference in the internal affairs of other countries. He held the vital role of all the Kingdom's ambassadors in supporting joint cooperation and providing new opportunities for constructive partnership, urging the ambassadors to prioritize the interests of the people of Bahrain outside the kingdom and to meet all their needs. His Highness stressed the importance of supporting and activating partnerships and finding further opportunities to face regional and international challenges, especially in the field of countering terrorism and establishing peace and stability in the Middle East. He called for continuing to enhance the mechanisms of Bahrain's diplomacy in light of the achievements and gains in the kingdom. During the meeting, the issues and topics listed on the forum's agenda were discussed. Bahrain's ambassadors abroad expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and pride in his directives to develop diplomatic performance, which represents an incentive to exert further efforts. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in opening of the diplomatic forum in the presence of the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs and Cabinet Member of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil Al Jabir, the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, and a number of senior officials and members of the diplomatic corps. He noted that the Day of Diplomacy, which was allocated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, has become a unique annual event that highlights the role of Bahraini diplomacy in supporting the achievements of the kingdom based on solid foundation of support by His Majesty the King and the reform approach which developed the political, economic and social fields in the kingdom. The minister expressed deep thanks and appreciation for the keenness of the participants to share their expertise and successful practices, adding that the experience will strengthen the role of diplomatic missions abroad to continue the foreign proactive policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
He stated that the foreign policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to asserting the sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity as well as protecting its security, defending its interests, enhancing its global position and reputation, in addition to strengthening its relations with brotherly and friendly countries and developing cooperation with regional and international organizations. He added that the kingdom is also keen to defend Arab and Islamic issues and promote the values of peace, coexistence and dialogue among various cultures and combating extremism and terrorism. Al-Jabir stressed the depth of relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, noting the parallel policies of the two countries and facing challenges. He also noted the ability of both countries to gain more achievements in light of their joint cooperation and coordination. The ceremony included various discussion sessions and honoring of the Diplomatic Excellence Award winners from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs and Cabinet Member of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adel Al Jabir, in the presence of the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Zayani. The two sides reviewed the historic solid relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, hailing their development in all fields. They also affirmed their keenness to continue coordination and cooperation regarding various issues in all international forums. They exchanged views on ways to strengthen the GCC process and discussed the latest developments in the region as well as supporting all efforts to enhance regional and international peace and security. The president of the Renewable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, visited the city of Masdar for renewable energy in Abu Dhabi on the sidelines of the Abu Dhabi Week for Sustainability. He was received by officials from the company who then gave a presentation about their project and the role that the city plays in diversifying Abu Dhabi's sources of income. Mirza said that the city and its research center represent world-class platforms for renewable energy and that his visit affirms the importance of cooperation in the field of sustainable development. He added that the city has experienced a great deal of progress since his last visit four years ago. Dr. Mirza explains that the visit comes as part of the UAE and Bahrain's efforts towards fulfilling their commitment to sustainable develop development and addressing climate change. He affirmed that bilateral cooperation in this field in order to further develop the field of sustainable energy and development. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units. The Ministry of Housing began distributing the first stage units of the East Citra City as the top project listed on the program for the distribution of housing units. The Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, affirmed that the directives on unit distribution reflect the leadership's keenness on providing housing needs for citizens as one of the main foundations for decent living and achieving stability for Bahrain families. He noted that the directive to distribute 5,000 housing units comes in continuation of the housing gains achieved during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Supreme Judicial Council announced in a press conference a development initiative for the measures of the Court of Execution, which will create a new quantum leap on the level of performance effectiveness and the speed of making ju judicial and executive decisions. The Supreme Judicial Council increased the number of judges and courts from six to eight, as well as the number of courts. This comes following the completion of many initiatives, including launching e-services in cooperation with the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, and Information and e-Government Authority, as well as applying a comprehensive plan to sort the implementation files and distribute them on various courts. The Kingdom of Bahrain and its people mourn the passing of one of the most prominent artists in Bahrain and in the Arabian Gulf, Ali Laghrir. More in this report. Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf have lost an outstanding and prolific artist whose fine morals, distinctive performances and brilliant work have marked Bahrain radio and television since the 90s. Through his numerous comic, dramatic, theatrical and cinematic works, Ali Laghrir for years and across countries, he drew smiles on the faces of his fans and brought joy to many people. The Bahraini artist was born on September 30, 1968, and he is considered one of the most prominent artists in Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf. <laughs> Why 
Le Grer started his artistic career in 1990 through the series The Trip of Wonders. He took part in more than 50 series and 13 theatrical works. He also participated in many films shown at cinemas in Bahrain and the GCC countries. He was able to leave a mark and a print on every soul as well as earn the love of his fans of all ages. His life was a wealth of creative work, generous efforts, and deep love for Bahrain, and his work will forever be remembered in the hearts and minds of every Bahraini. We pray Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace and to grant his family and fans fortitude and solace.